Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Meet my friends Jenny and Chen. They're out in the yard, measuring the little tree that they planted together. Jenny says that the little tree is three feet tall. Chen says that the little tree is 36 inches tall. And each of them is so sure that they are right and the other is wrong. But maybe, just maybe, it's possible that they're actually both right. Can that be true? Well, yes, it can. Let's check it out. When we're measuring, there are lots of different things to consider. You need to pick a measuring tool that makes sense and make sure that it's aligned properly. Something else to think about is units. Units are anything we use to measure something. A unit can be one inch, one foot, one mile, one building block, or even one beam. You may have noticed that sometimes we measure using feet and inches, like on a yardstick. And other times, we measure using centimeters and meters, like on a meter stick. And sometimes we can use the same tool to measure both inches and centimeters, like on a ruler. Today, we're going to be learning more about these different units. Now, let's start by measuring this pencil with a ruler. You can see that one side of the ruler has inches on it, and the other side has centimeters. Let's start with the inches. The pencil is aligned on the left-hand side, so that's good. Now, let's look at the other side. This side of the pencil is between 5 and 6 inches. Hmm, but it looks to be closer to 6 than 5. So we can say that it is about 6 inches. And when we say a measurement is about, it means that it is near the number, but not exactly. So now we know that the pencil is about 6 inches, but let's see how many centimeters it is. Okay, the pencil and ruler, again, are aligned on the left, that's good. And if we look on the other side, we can see that the pencil is 15 centimeters long. Well, that's interesting. When we measure the pencil in centimeters, it's a bigger number than in inches. Huh. I wonder if that's always true. Let's try measuring something else and see. Okay, here's a crayon. Whoa. That crayon's been used a lot. It's getting pretty short. Why don't we start with centimeters this time? Okay, we've aligned the crayon with the ruler, and we can now see that the crayon is eight centimeters long. So let's turn this ruler around and see if it'll take more or fewer inches to measure the crayon. Okay, the ruler is aligned with the crayon, so let's look at the other side. This side of the crayon is between 3 and 4 inches. But it looks to be closer to 3 than 4. So just like before, we can say that it's about 3 inches. Would you look at that? Both times that we measured, the number of centimeters was bigger than the number of inches. Hmm. Why are our answers different? The pencil and the crayon didn't magically get bigger. Well, let's look at the size of one inch compared to the size of one centimeter. Uh-huh, the size of one inch is bigger than the size of one centimeter. So when we measure, it'll take more centimeters than inches because a centimeter is smaller. Okay, let's bring the pencil back just for a moment. Now you can see how this is true. Just like before, the pencil is about 6 inches, and it's also 15 centimeters. Since centimeters are smaller than inches, it takes more of them to fill up the same length. Ooh, great job! This can be a lot to think about, but you can always look at a ruler to help you remember. Now here's a marker that usually we use to draw pictures, but instead we're going to use it to make a guess about its measurement. Now, I know that the marker is 7 inches long. If we measure it in centimeters, will the number of centimeters be greater than, less than, or equal to 7? Well, let's remember what we've learned so far. Centimeters are smaller. And so, we're going to need more centimeters than inches to measure the same object. And since the marker is 7 inches, 
we know that it'll be more than 7 centimeters long. But let's measure just to be sure. Well, looky there. The marker is between 17 and 18 centimeters, but it's closer to 18 centimeters. And this means that the marker is about 18 centimeters. Hey, we were right. The marker is much more than 7 centimeters long. Whew, good work. You know, we've also measured things in meters before. So let's see how that compares to centimeters and inches. Here's a small whiteboard. Let's measure its length with this meter stick. Now this whiteboard is exactly the length of a meter stick. Look at that. It's one meter long. But we can also see that it is 100 centimeters long. Well, that's a big difference. Ah, but that's because a meter is a lot bigger than one centimeter. And so we need a lot more centimeters to measure the same object. Now, let's use a measuring tape to see how many feet the whiteboard is. Okay, if we look at the measuring tape, we can see that the whiteboard is just over three feet long. So, we need more feet than meters to measure the whiteboard. Uh-huh, that must mean that a foot is smaller than a meter. Whew, let's review all of these units because there have been a lot. Cool, good thing we have this whiteboard, we can just write it all down here. We know that a centimeter is smaller than an inch. Since 12 inches make up a foot, an inch is smaller than a foot. And we just learned that a foot is smaller than a meter. Great work today. You've gotten to measure objects using different units. And you figured out why you have to use a different number of units to measure the same object.